right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode here on the Fit Father Project podcast. Again, this is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder and CEO here at the Fit Father Project. And today I'm joined by my friend, Michael Keller II. Uh, he's one of our amazing program members, a man who took part of our transformation challenge that we hosted early in January. And Michael wanted to come on to share his story and share how the Fit Father Project has changed and transformed his lives in, in ways beyond the physical. So Michael, thank you for being here. I would love for you to introduce yourself to everyone listening, your name, your age, where you're from, a little bit about your family and what you do from work, and we'll take it from there. Yeah, absolutely. No, this is this is a pleasure, and I appreciate you having me on. So as you mentioned, Michael Keller, um, I am 44 years old. Uh, I live in Fort Worth, Texas. I have four boys aging from 22 down to 11, uh, quite the challenge. I do... Um, I'm a transportation manager for a shipping company called Pitney Bowes. And a lot of my day to day is really wrapped up with sitting behind a desk, just like I'm doing now, uh, rarely getting up. Sometimes six hours will pass and I've never moved from this chair. So that, that in a nutshell is <clears throat> what I do for a living. Um, so excited to be here. So let's talk about where you kind of found yourself with your health in your forties, you're working this busy job. You have mm -hmm. the kids used to be an athletic guy. So take us back to kind of some of the struggles you were having that kind of prompted you to search for the fit father project and eventually join. And, and even the happenstance of how you ended up finding an old buddy in the gym and how that all happened. Yeah, no, uh, you're absolutely right. So, um, you know, between 20 and 30 to 40 years old, uh, I, I played football as a young man, loved the gym, loved to work out. I mean, I even had a personal goal to bench press 400. I mean, that was just in my mind. Um, both of my uncles spent a lot of time working out in the gym. So it was just kind of a, a family affair. And with boys, that was just a natural thing that, that, uh, that, that we want to do. And what I always recognized was that I did all this working out, but I never really looked the way I wanted to look. And uh, I, I did know academically that, um, you know, health had a part in it. And uh, then over time, I obviously recognized that health played a major part in it. As I got into my 40s and my teenagers became men, and I started recognizing the fact that I'm having trouble uh, sticking up with these 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 boys, these men they're they're wearing me down they're wearing me out and as my job became more sedentary where i wasn't you know on the operations floor i wasn't in the trenches i wasn't moving pallets around i wasn't getting it out of the forklift uh i was gaining weight no matter how hard i worked in the gym i gained weight it was um it was something that uh i, I figured at some point i would be able to work it off and then as time goes on and you read about things like losing testosterone at the age of 40 you start getting downhill my uncles are telling me boy wait till you get to 40 you know now they're saying well boy wait till you get to 50. i didn't want to have that in front of me anymore i was i was tired of it i was sick of it so back to my friend in the gym so this is actually a, a brother in christ that uh i go to church with here locally and he's a coach for a local football team. And I had noticed that this guy, he played football at Texas Tech, and he was always a big guy too. But I could tell he, he, was, he was struggling with weight too. And one day he's on the treadmill. I'm in there. I'm, you know, I'm trying to do my thing. And uh, I noticed, man, he looks good. <laughs> I, I, I didn't have any, any coughs about going up to him and saying, John, you know, what are you doing? And he said, well, I'm not starving to death. I'll tell you that much. <clears throat> so I'd asked him, I said, well, I mean, I really want to know. I'm genuinely interested. And he said, it's a fit father program. Uh, the, 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 the man that started this has uh, a great story around his father and the impact generationally we have as, as uh, fathers and men that we have a, a responsibility, not just to live and treat our bodies in a specific way, but we're essentially robbing ourselves um, from life. We're robbing others of, of life in this, in this, in this world when we, uh, 
we don't take those those uh, those right steps. So immediately, I think I was still working out, and I'm I'm googling uh, Fit Father program, and, and really what stuck out, um, uh, Anthony, is that uh, in your website it said iron sharpens iron as one man sharpens another, and I was like, it's almost like a God thing. So I looked into it, I read into it, I immediately I, I bought the first 90 days. I was like, you know what? I want to, I want skin in the game. I've done everything. I've done body for life. I've done P90X. I've done keto. I even did something called the Al diet. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. It obviously worked for John. He spoke very highly of it. So let's go. I was very excited. Got started right away and uh, learned uh, so much, so much. At first I was like, Man, there's so much reading going on. I feel like I got a homework schedule. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, uh, Dr. Uh, Balduzzi, is that after I was telling my wife this, I was like, you know, I feel like I can't get started. I'm just, I'm just ready to get back in the gym because that's what I've always done. But I wasn't rewiring the brain. I wasn't trying to understand the foundation. A lot of the things that you said uh, stuck with me. You can't act, you know, you can't. Uh, exercise a bad diet. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you know, really, what, what are we talking about when we go to places where we get fries and, and a burger? I mean, how much work is involved there? And is it is it calorie dense? Does those things make sense? And the more that you talked about these things, you were building what I didn't realize at the time, but I told my wife this. I said, you're building a foundation. And, you know, no fault to anyone's own, but there's so much stuff out there. It's like Vegas. You know, there's mm -hmm. do this, do that, do this. But everyone's so quick to jump into it because they want those results. But really, you're not going to do anything that's going to sustain anything successful until you build the right foundation or it'll be on sinking sand. Yeah, it's so well said. And so you started building these foundations, which for you was rewiring some thinking that you had around, oh man, I could just out exercise this stuff. Mm -hmm. You start paying more attention to nutrition, then you're analyzing your choices. So I want to I want to dive into that as you're starting to lose some weight. What are some of the actual changes you're making with your eating in aligned with the Fit Father nutrition plan and approach? What what do you actually start changing in your life with your food intake? One thing that uh, the program does very well is it doesn't leave you wondering what to do. <laughs> The videos are great. The short snippets are great. Uh, they, they, they certainly give you um, a visual um, piece to the learning piece and the piece that you read. Um, I got on Amazon and I literally followed the instructions. I'm pretty good at doing what I'm told at first. So I got on Amazon and, and, and I started ordering some things. Uh, even got the blender you recommended. I know that sounds crazy, but got the blender. I. I, I wanted to be successful, and I think every man does. I, I really do. I think that we start off with good intentions. So I didn't want to give myself any 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 um, excuse of my own to say, hey, I, this didn't work out because of me. So I started those things, and um, immediately uh, within the first, I'd say, three to five days, the feeling of how I felt just changed dramatically. I had no idea that you could really eat spinach with everything. I mean, I, I literally do. I have those big containers of spinach in my fridge and I put it on everything. As a matter of fact, um, you know, raw cooked, it doesn't matter. I eat spinach and everything, but those are, those are fundamental things to our nutrition that I didn't even really, I took, took for granted. I just assumed, yeah, it's spinach is good. Pop, I ate it, whatever. But when I, when I, felt the way that I did and I started eating the way that I did, the working out is difficult, but I was already used to that. And I remember you saying, and I think it was in a video, but it could have been in the, the booklet, but one of your member, early members didn't even work out, mm -hmm. didn't even work out. So I knew, man, if, if I, if I got it, I'll do the workout, but if I do this, I know I'm going to be successful. And Man, the pounds just started coming off like immediately. I mean, it was a lot of motivation at first. And then, 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 you know, um, things start to become normal. Things start to become, um, challenging. And that's where, where I think the program, uh, really challenged me. I think anyone could do something for a couple of weeks or 30 days. 
but I haven't traveled <laughs> and I, and, uh, you, you had one for that too. And, uh, you know, I, I, and, I, and I like to drink beer. I mean, you know, I, how do I handle those things? And, mm-hmm. and, uh, I have so many different challenges and how am I going to deal with going out of town? I can't have my shape, but you, mm-hmm. you, you, you cover those things. You went over those things. So, you know, I, I think I got to a place where things were going really, really well. Um, and, um, had a lot of success and, 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 and I don't know how far into the, to the story you want me to go, but, um, when th- this happened in 2019 and when I, in January of 2020, um, I got, I got COVID mm-hmm. and I stopped, I stopped working out. Um, I was really hard to get back to working out. And, um, as I, I, I've been doing it for so long, I did it for, from Memorial Day to January, 2019 to 2020, um, lost nearly 30 pounds, feeling good, looking good, got a lot of notice and, you know, um, COVID hits, I get sick. I didn't even know it was COVID at the time until the, you know, some of the, the data around losing your taste and, and losing your smell came out and you know i never never really rebounded from that i never really um got to a point where i was trying to work out i was trying to eat right but but you know i i, I fell back into my bad habits and mm-hmm. i signed up for fit father and i think I even a- after the time i committed to the full i was i was a lifer man i was a lifer i got into the place where i was like you know what I got this thing. I know it works. I've done it before. And then it was your, um, your, your contest that, that got me back into it. So I'm, I'm thankful for that, by the way. Yeah, that's amazing. I want to make this timeline very clear. You've had a long history exercising. You get COVID and it kind of just totally derails your momentum. Yeah. And then kind of coming into January of 2020, when we run this contest, you're like, yep, this is something that I think can give me a container for more motivation. And that helped you get back on track. And you're able to ride that momentum and use the program to tackle the challenges of your travel, of occasionally wanting to have some drinks, having a nutrition plan that wasn't overly complicated, and you start losing weight and feeling better. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, from 2019 to, to 2020, I had a lot of a lot of success um, with with the program. I went through phase one, phase two, phase three, I was ready for old school muscle and, um, January hit and it was a train wreck. And I remember actually being out of town. I was in Jacksonville, Florida and I was getting a lot of accolades, man. I was like, you know, do you look good? I was preaching the fit father thing. And, um, I was telling, uh, people that I was, I was, every, I mean, Anthony, we, I would wake up, we had a conference for like 12 hours a day. I would wake up, I was still hitting the gym. I was still eating right then. And then Wednesday, I got sick, flew to Philadelphia, came back home. I couldn't do nothing. I felt like I couldn't even like walk for two weeks. And, and then, uh, you know, coming back out of that, uh, it was, it was so foggy. It was January. We started getting into February. It was, you know, cold. Didn't feel like working out. Then I started compromising and it didn't happen overnight. These are little bits and pieces of things that have occurred to take away what I had retrained my brain to do. Those, those habits did, it didn't just switch overnight. They didn't become habits overnight and they didn't, I didn't lose those habits overnight. So, you know, from March on the lockdown till we were, you know, kind of the gym started opening back up. You know, I, I kind of really went back to what I'd done for, tw- for, for my twenties and thirties, going back to the gym, trying to, you know, um, out exercise my diet. And the whole time I'm thinking, I know this isn't right. Some of the diet things stuck, you know, but I, I started going out a little bit more, sort of drinking a little bit more, started it just etching away at all the progress. And I got all the way back up to almost the starting weight. Um, from Memorial Day 2019 and when I kicked back off in January and it was so defeating I felt so terrible and I was already in the the contest was just an additional motivator 
I think you sent out an email about um, bundling some supplements and I was already starting to work back out. It was January, first part of the year, right? So I wanted to get back into it. And then the the contest really just took it, took it off. So I want to get into this because I think this is probably one of the most relatable things possible. You, you'd follow the plan. You knew the principles that work, but there were a series of things that happened in your life between sickness, losing some motivation, getting busy at work that you backtrack, you slip back to the point where you actually knew this is not what I should be doing, but you do it anyways, because we all do that sometimes. What, how did you get back on the horse? Obviously the contest was a thing, but like, let's talk about the mental side of this thing. I think it could be many of the most important things we pull out of your story is like, what makes a man recommit after he's retreaded all the way back? And, and what's made you successful today? Cause you've been able to harness this new power. So how'd you find it? So, you know, January hits and, um, I, uh, I knew that, um, I wanted to start taking steps in the right direction. And I was like, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll tell you why and this is probably going to be more relatable to men than anything is that shame will cause you not to go back. Mm -hmm. Shame will keep you in this vicious cycle of eating not not doing right by your body, not doing the right things with sleep and and you know alcohol abuse and things like that. Shame will keep you in that place. And then a lot of things happened spiritually and physically where I like, hey, I was I was in a great place, and I and and I learned a lot, and I felt like this this was sustainable. This is exactly where I need to be. I need to go back to what I've proven that not just works for me, but works for all of us when it comes to how we view the rest of our 40s, the rest of our 50s, the rest of our 60s, because I was literally back where I felt like I can't, I can't believe it. And, th and I was so defeated in, 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 in January, the, 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 idea around recommitting and getting back into it. And, and, uh, you know what, <laughs> what it was, <laughs> you, your emails, man, your emails. <laughs> I, I, I get, I get emails from fit father all the time, but it was one of your emails in, in January. And I think it had to do with something about the new year bundle or something like a fire sale. And I was like, boom, that's it. And then it wasn't, you know, just until that, I was already in. I, I knew where I needed to be, but it was that, and I'm going to say accountability in such a way, we all get a lot of traffic. We all get a lot of emails, but if that wasn't in place, I wouldn't, I, I may have gone a different direction. I don't know. It's hard to say, but I'm going to tell you, there was already a seed that had planted in 2019 and it sprouted. It sprouted quick. You know, with the right watering, the sun out, I was moving, I was shaking. I wilted in, in 2020, man, and, and I'm back, back in 2021, back strong. And, and it, it was that learning and vesting and, and knowing and proving to myself that this is something that works. This is something that's sustainable. And I don't want to go another year. I don't want to go another five years. I don't want to go another 10 years without being this being the baseline, this being the skeleton of how I think about my physical nutrition, my, my spiritual um, walk, how I'm living life, how I'm engaging my boys. And I'll get into that too here in a little bit. But, um, you know, changing the way that my family eats. They were eating the same garbage I was eating. But when I was doing Fifth Father... They were eating good. They were losing weight. It was it was incredible. So I think there's a lot of that that just kind of shelled at once. And then, mm -hmm. you know, kind of the, the the fire was a lot of those things coming together and knowing that I've gone through this. I put in the work. I put in the work. I put in the time. I've learned a lot. And uh, I felt very comfortable coming back to Fit Father. The brotherhood is great. The communication. There's a lot of transparency. I think without it. Uh, we, we would struggle because like I said, shame will keep you in a place where you sometimes you can't get out of, but I knew I could go back and say, you know what? I took a major step back, but I'm back. I'm in, 
Life, as long as there's life, there's hope. So I'm in. Mm-hmm. It's amazing you were able to get on the other side of that because I think there's a lot of guys listening to this and might be caught in the shame cycle like right now listening to this. You know, another night of bad food, the yeah. guilt of it the next day. Right. Rinse and repeat. Right. right. I mean, I've been there myself. But you felt like you saw a track record of success with this program when you tried it in 2019. You trust that it, you used, and I, this is props to you, you used some signs in your life, whether an email from us or a contest, you actually take, took some action and gave yourself the ability to recommit through that. So how's your life changed since? I want to get into all the powerful changes you've made. You're obviously on fire. Your family's changing. How much weight have you lost? Like, what are things, what's going on right now? Like some of the benefits of the transformation and the change yeah, you made. So the benefits from my perspective, um, you know, I kind of felt when I kicked this back off that, you know, immediately I started feeling good, started uh, seeing the results. And, and then that first, first week of travel, I think it happened in, in March. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I just need five months where I don't travel because that's where the contest type frame is. But I had to deal with that. Anthony and uh you know I I I executed it well. Um I you know I, I I took the shakes, I took the supplements, I I prepared. You know, there's there's a saying that I've said and I've heard it said so many times, you know, um if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And that is absolutely true with your accountability emails. You know, I'm in phase four right now and, and you send me faithfully emails on Sunday. You're like, hey, did you uh, you know what you're gonna do with your workout today or this week? And uh, with without that kind of like reminder and that nudge, um, it's it would be hard to stay on track. But what I what I experience uh, in the first 30, 60, 90 days is immediately um, my 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 three boys that live with me and my wife we started eating differently. Um, they started seeing results as a result of me seeing results. Started taking um, my 13 year old to the gym and uh, he, he's got one for you. He said, dad, why can't they have a fit son project? And I said, well, let me, let me pitch that one, but we'll see, bud. Uh, man, I, I have a, a relationship now with my 13 year old that extends beyond just, good old dad on the couch. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I can actually work out and he can reap the benefits at an early age mm-hmm. that, that I didn't get to have with my father. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of those, um, a lot of those realities of what I'm building a legacy from, from my kids is, is, is coming true. I didn't, I didn't have that trajectory from that perspective, um, and and he's actually like, Dad, what are we doing this week? It's really cool. <laughs> it's really really cool. I mean, that's what Fit Father is all about. You are a fit father, my friend, and and I mean, you've, the changes you've made by by you living in this new path, they go far beyond your own physical fitness, um, and that is amazing. To I am I'm kind of thinking right now. What the trajectory of your son, what's going to happen to your son as he continues to strength train over the next three, four years throughout high school, he gets bigger and stronger. His confidence goes up. He starts realizing he can attack his goals through consistent effort uh, and, and, and hard work. Hmm. Yeah. That's a powerful story. Yeah. And, and I think that for me, you know, I, I think that we each individually have a good story. And, and, and for me, I got into this because of my kids and because of, you know, I, I coach, um, I'm active. I love to play football with them. They wrestle now and they're getting, they're getting so good. And, and, and I can tell you that my two youngest, I can see it. You know, we had, we bought an air fryer, you know, last year during COVID and, Man, they were eating fries, fried, fried food every day, and and he was ballooning up. And I don't know, someone said something to him, and they're they're always you know pinching their stomach, and they're so self conscious. I was like, you know what, this is we're done, we're done with that. I don't want them to try to figure out and navigate how this should look. I got it right here, man. You know, I mean, I, I've learned all this. I know how to do it. So 
Is it perfect? No, it's not. Is every day going to be exactly how you want it to look? No. But I'm going to tell you that you don't have to wait for Monday. You don't have to wait for January 1st. You don't have to wait for the next Fit Father Transformation Contest. You could literally, literally do this today after you hear this podcast. And I'm going to tell you, your wife's going to look different at you. Your children are going to look different at you. And those you come in contact. I got people at work on conference calls like this one saying, Mike, you look great. What are you doing? Dude, I'm telling you, that's a that's a big motivator. You know what? I love to share the same story that was told to me in 2019. Hey, man, I know one thing. I'm not starving. Let me tell you a little bit about <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. It's like, and that is actually what you just shared there. The last bit is, is like, is my vision for what the Fit Father Project could be is, is more Michael Kellers out there on video conference calls and people being like, dude, what you doing? And you'd be like, let me tell you. Right. And I, and I think what's amazing is bringing you on to this show to be able to share your story. It's, it's going to sit, it's going to hit home with a couple of guys listening to this right now. And, and if a couple of guys are brave enough to kind of take up the charge like you did and, and put in the work and understand it's not going to be perfect, right. their lives can change. Then we have more fit fathers, more fit kids, more fit families. And we can really shift the trajectory of, of all the stuff that's going around because it's kind of BS and it sucks that so many guys are stuck in the shame loop. And it's, it's, not, it's not by accident. We have a, a society that makes it very easy to get caught up and, and not do the right things. But you got a system now. So, Michael, I want to know, how is this sustainable for you? Like, why, why is this different? And how, is it, how, how do you know this is going to stick on track? And, and if it's not, how, how do you know you're going to be able to get back on track? I want to talk about, like, the long term, like, where yeah. you see yourself in a couple years. Yeah, so uh, right now, I'm in phase four. I love phase four, by the way. Thanks for adding that. Um, I, like, I like to be able to jump from, you know, the stack to the assault to Apex 10. I did a big five with my, my 13 year old, um, you know, nice. teaching them how to squat. Um, I really like the way it's, it's put together. And, you know, um, for me moving forward is that the first time around in 2019, it, it kind of felt like I, I, I was getting success. I was feeling good and, and, uh, I was running with it, but I didn't necessarily think about what you know, what would happen if I get sick or what would happen? I, I kind of took for granted that I had some success. I felt good. You know, you're kinda, you kind of, you, 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 you want to reward yourself. So a little bit at a time, you start compromising here and compromising there. And, um, you know, for me is that, uh, I've been doing that for 24 years since I got out of high school. It's like, I, I know that, um, my my 19 year old who's, who's still with me and he's he's planning on joining the air force too he even said this he said dad it's really cool that um that you've got gabe in here now he said i wish that could have been me mm. so you know i think that fathers listening boys or girls um what we're teaching our kids we think that a lot of us will repeat the patterns of our generation and we try to learn and there's so much information out there. And for me moving forward, why this is sustainable. And I'm going to answer your question right here is that th this, this time around and what I'm doing and what I'm seeing in taking the focus off of me now and seeing what it's happening to my family is more more encouragement, more, um, more of a focus than I could. I'm going to tell you, there's, there's only so much that you can do for you before yeah. that just gets old. When you start pouring into others, uh, and, and seeing that it's changing them, they're learning different things. They're learning habits. I wish I'd known at 13 or 18, as long as those things continue, I have, uh, accountability, with my brothers on Facebook, I've, I've set myself up to where I'm, I'm getting my check-ins. I've, I've got, you know, planning in advance. There's just so many different things that look different this time around than it did the first time. 
And, 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 you know, over the last two years, your, your program has developed and it's, it's more sticky, I would say. And the podcast is huge, man. I've listened to a couple of the other ones that Lee did and, and, uh, owing your nutrition stuff, man. It's just every, if you have a commute, 30 minutes, pop it in. I mean, I'm learning stuff about like milk. I think you just, you didn't want about milk. It's like, I really want to know about this stuff because I think knowledge is important. But I wasn't feeding myself that way. It's not, you know, you read this, do the workouts, eat this way. It's not that way at all. This is fit father for life. Mm -hmm. For life. And I, I don't think that in 2019, I was looking at it as a for life. I was looking at it as, man, you know, John told me about this. It's working great. But, you know, it has stopped. And I didn't think about that. But it has to be that way. It really does. I, I, I don't think that you can't do this and then say next year, I'm going to try something else. This, this is the building block for any father at, at our age or even younger, or older that wants to make a difference in their family's life, make a difference for them because my, my mom's getting old. I, you know, I see her, she can't get around weight has been a problem throughout our whole family and it's just like I'm, I'm 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 changing it we're doing it we're not doing that no more the shift is very clear from where you were in 2019 to where you are today and it's foundational stuff your identity how you've tied all this stuff to your family into something bigger than you and what you said i want to highlight because i think it's so true is we can only pour so much into ourselves if we're doing this for even even if even if it's to improve our health and get off the medication. Like, I mean, I, I think that's motivating to a certain level. But at the same time, we all know how self-destructive we can be, yes. especially for guys that have been in the shame loop. Right. You know, yeah. but when we start to see the bigger picture that this isn't just about us. This could be about our kids, about shifting generational patterns, about the next 20, 30 years of their lives, not just ours. And, and we wrap this all up. The kind of power that we tap into is unbelievable. And you really express that. And that makes me happier than you know, because yeah. you have your system. And, and I think it's your system. It's, it's sure it's the fit father principles. But, you know, my goal was to help you develop your system. And, and, and you have it. You're working out with your son. You know, you're yeah. figuring out the right kind of things that work for you. You have contingency plans for your travel because guess what? You're going to be traveling a lot for the next several years. Like that's not stopping. That's so if your plan stopping. doesn't respect those things, then it's just, it, it's got holes and bugs, but you, you figure that stuff out. And I'm really proud of you, Michael. Um, this conversation means so much to me and I hope it means a lot to the guys who are listening. You've shared a lot of good stuff and I, I want to wrap this up. I want to open up the floor to you one more time to share any words of wisdom for guys who are starting out, yeah. um, maybe some words for your fellow brothers or anything you'd like to add to kind of wrap this conversation, put a nice bow on it. I've always been of the mindset that tomorrow, 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 there's, there may not be. And, um, you know, I want, I'm a kind of emotional guy. If you had picked up on that and, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, you don't have to wait for Monday. Um, you don't have to wait for tomorrow because that mentality is what got me 24 years of disappointment, failures, vicious cycles, ups and downs, ups and downs. I don't care if I mess up on breakfast, I'm going to fix lunch. You know, uh, if, if, if I don't get my workout in, it's not the end of the world, guys. Um, if you drink too much on, on Tuesday, there's, there's, there's Wednesday. And you can constantly come back and say, you know what? One day is not going to uh, take this away from me. One week's not going to take this away from me. Shoot, I almost had, uh, let's see, um, from January, uh, almost an entire year where I fell out of the, the patterns but it's not too late. You can get back into it. This information is invaluable. You know what? And, and it's, the cost is nothing. I mean, trust me. You put in more time and energy to get, it can't be any more clear. It's, 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 it's very guided. It's very, very specific. Follow it. It works. 
there's there is gray there's always gray but don't get yourself don't beat yourself up don't beat yourself up because i'm gonna tell you right I, i've been doing fifth father collectively probably let's see what is it J july so if you take the first time over a year i've gone through phase one two and three twice okay listen to this guys and i still can't get peak 11 and i'm mad about that but mm -hmm. but my point is don't get discouraged don't beat yourself up you don't have to do it exactly perfect tomorrow will come but you've got to take the opportunity right now to make the decision that i'm not going to let yesterday defeat me yeah and you do that you, you maintain that mind frame every day moving forward you have strength and flexibility yeah it is a fresh day there are new choices right and and when you're starting out having a system that can help guide you to those early wins is huge. And then as you get that momentum, you start to learn the knowledge, like where it's not just a plan you follow, but it's, it's like, it starts to seep in and in the learning on this stuff, like we weren't taught the right kind of nutrition stuff in school. It's like, we have to almost like go back and relearn these foundational things about our bodies in our forties, fifties and sixties. But if you can commit to that, Mm. which I hope we make it a, a, a we, it sounds like we make it a good job in the program. It certainly worked for you and a lot of other guys your life can change yeah. just like yours did. So Michael, thank you. Thanks for being on here for sharing your story. I want to say God bless you and your family and your thank kids you. and everyone listening to this podcast. I, I know in my heart that it's, it's not only possible to be incredibly healthy in your forties, fifties and sixties, like there's a path. Yeah. Michael's walking it. Mm. Lee's walking it. Glenn's walking it. Andre's yeah. walking it. All the guys on the show are walking it and come join us. We'd love to walk with you. I think it's what really makes it so rewarding. So, Michael, thanks for being on here, man. You're you're amazing, and I appreciate it's, this it's so been much. It's a pleasure, and you know, if, if, if just one listens to this, it makes that choice. Every every this whole conversation was worth it, and trust me, it will be worth it. So, thank you for what you do, um, and I appreciate everyone at the Fit Father team. Thank you again for this time, and uh, hey, God bless. God bless. <laughs>